Hello again, YouTube. This is Peter with you, and today I want to talk about the Ghostbusters reboot and the massive internet kerfuffle it has spawned over the last several months since the first trailer was released. Now, on one hand, you have people who are criticizing this movie and raging against it. On the other hand, you have people defending this movie. And many of the people defending the movie are attempting to depict the people raging against this movie as all a bunch of He-Man woman haters who are upset over the fact that it has an all-female cast. Now, I think that it's fairly reasonable to assume that there is a faction of the people who dislike what they've seen in the trailers who are of the He-Man woman haters club variety. But honestly, I don't think that's the majority of people upset about this movie. I think that the majority of the people upset about this movie fall into two overlapping camps. First of all, you have people disappointed that this is not a sequel, it is a reboot. Because for decades, people have been anticipating a sequel to the Ghostbusters movies, and they got a reboot instead, and people are sick of reboots. Also, you have people who saw the trailer, and they said... I just don't like this humor. And so I think the people who are trying to say that all the people who are upset about this movie are just all in the He-Man Woman haters camp, I think that's wrong. But as far as I can see, although a, there is a faction of the He-Man Woman haters club who are upset about this movie and how dare you have an all-female cast, I would venture in my completely unscientific estimation that the majority of the people are disappointed that this is a reboot and they just don't find the humor in this trailers that we've seen so far funny. Now, all of that may be relatively obvious, but the reason that I make this video, what inspired me to make this video, was actually going to see X-Men Apocalypse. And if you want to hear me talk about X-Men Apocalypse, I'll post a link to that review. But as I was watching X-Men Apocalypse, there's of course trailers before the beginning of the movie. And one of the trailers was the infamous Ghostbusters trailer. And although I did hear one audible sigh like, oh god, here we go, the Ghostbusters trailer, you'd be surprised the sorts of laughs that the trailer actually got. This is from just a general movie audience. And at the joke at the end, where she slaps her and says, the power of pain compels you, almost the whole audience was laughing. That got a big reaction from the movie audience that I was with, seeing X-Men Apocalypse. And it almost reminded me of the scene in one of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons called Home R, Homer with the R backwards, in which... Homer has a crayon removed from his brain that raises his IQ, and he goes in to see a movie, and he just sees it as just uh, for uh, the terrible hack writing and cliches that it is, and everyone in the audience laughs at some stupid joke, and then and Patty or Selma's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, somebody's not laughing, and they, they single out Homer, and he's like, what? It's obvious that she's going to end up with this guy. And, and they're like, oh, they kick him out of the theater. And the, the usher's like, point out your plot holes elsewhere. And the message of that really is don't underestimate this, the things that the average person will laugh at. Because it's easy on the internet when people get passionate about these things to overlook the fact that they might just be a vocal minority. Either way, the people who are trying to say that this movie looks like crap, well, guess what? A lot of really bad movies have done extraordinarily well. There's a line in one of the Mr. Plinkett reviews, I believe it's the Titanic review. Just look at the top box office films of all time, and then consider suicide. Really, because the average person might laugh at a joke like the power of pain compels you and seeing somebody get slapped in the face. They're not necessarily trying to market to hardcore Ghostbusters fans or people who find that particular brand of humor 
stupid. There are a lot of people who are just like, oh, new Ghostbusters movie. Wow. Oh, yeah. She slapped her in the face. That's so hilarious. Ha 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 ha. Some people, that's just their cup of tea. And to say that the movie is going to be a complete disaster, I think that depends on a lot of things. But I don't think negative buzz by people judging the humor of a trailer is necessarily going to sink the movie. Reviews, negative reviews might sink the movie, but let's face it, there are a lot of people who are going to laugh at bad jokes. For myself personally, I am not going to be queued up to see this movie on opening night. I'm going to wait and try and find honest and fair reviews about the movie, and if it gets uh, decent reviews, then I might go see it. But overall, I guess I wasn't entirely put off by the trailers, but at the same time, it's kind of meh, you know? Don't get me wrong, I love a good Exorcist reference, but I much would have preferred, Your mother sucks cocks in hell! But then again, they could have saved that for the actual movie itself. So, yeah, that's the truth as I see it. Have a good whatever time it is.